Welcome to Electron Online. Now that we've seen the visibility rules, let's try to apply them to simplifying these fractions. In the first fraction, we notice that the numerator and the denominator both are even, which means they can both be divided by 2. It turns out they can also be divided by 4, because 24 is divisible by 4, and so is 64. However, it may just be easier to do several iterations of divided by 2 instead of trying to tackle bigger numbers. So I prefer just to look for the easiest fraction first. I'm going to divide both by 2. 24 divided by 2 is equal to 12, and 64 divided by 2 is equal to 32. All I have to do is just take half of each of the numbers or each of the digits. Since they're still even, I can still divide it by 2. 12 divided by 2 is 6, and 32 divided by 2 is 16. Again, they're still even. I can still divide it by 2. 6 divided by 2 is 3. 18 divided by, uh, 16 divided by 2 is equal to 8, and there's my final answer. All I did was simply apply the fact that each time I had a simpler fraction, they were still even, and I could still divide both the numerator and denominator by 2. Here on this fraction, I notice right away they both end in 5. Therefore, they must both be divisible by 5. 125 divided by 5 would be equal to, let's see, that's 25. And 375 divided by 5, the way I think about it is this way, that is 25 short from 400. 400 minus 25. I know that 100 divided by 100 divided by 5 is 20, so 400 divided by 5 is, that's 80, but I have to take 5 away from that, I end up with 75. Again, the way I did this was, this is 400 minus 25, so if I divide 400 by 5, I get 400 divided by 5, I get 80, and 25 divided by 5, I get 5, 80 minus 5 is 75. Just an easier way to do that. But notice they're still divisible by 5 because they both still end in 5. So 25 divided by 5 is 5. 75 divided by 5 is 15. They both still end up in 5. That means 5 divided by 5 is 1. 15 divided by 5 is equal to 3. So it ends up being 1 third. Now sometimes you can look at this and realize, wow, if I multiply this by 3, I get 375, so it's 1 third. But if you don't see that, you can simply simplify it like that. Again, these two numbers are even. I can divide 48 by 2, that gives me 24. And 82 divided by 2 gives me 41. Now I take a look at number 41 and I realize, wow, 41, that was one of those prime numbers. I cannot simplify it anymore. That's as low as I can go. I look at these numbers and I realize that if I add 7 plus 2 together, I get 9. If I add 4 plus 1 together, I get 5, which means that both the numerator and the denominator can be divided by 11. 79 can be written as 770 plus 22, and this can be written as 440 plus 11. Notice when I add 22 to 770, I get 792. If I add 11 to 440, I get 451. 770 divided by 11 is 70. I add 22 divided by 11, which is 2, so this becomes 72. In the denominator, 440 divided by 11 is 40, plus 11 divided by 11 is 1. That gives me 41. Since the denominator is a prime number, just like here, I cannot simplify that any further. Looking at these numbers, again, they're both end in 5. 75 divided by 5, that would be 15. And 345 divided by 5, that would be 60 plus 9, or 69. If I add 1 plus 5 together, I get 6, which can be divided by 3. And 6 can be divided by 3, so can 9. So both the numerator and the denominator can be divided by 3. 15 divided by 3 is 5. 69 divided by 3 is 23. Now I'm done. That's as low as I can go with that one. Here, notice that 44 can be divided by 11, and so can 781. 7 plus 1 adds up to 8. So... 44 divided by 11, that, can, that is equal to, well, let me wait a, a moment. I'm going to write as 44 divided by, this I can write as 770 plus 11. Then I can see that 44 divided by 11 is equal to 4. 770 divided by 11 is 70 plus 1, 71. And that's a prime number, that's as low as I can go there. Here I can see that both of these numbers are even. 
I can divide by 2. 56 divided by 2 is 28, and 128 divided by 2 is 64. They're still even. 28 divided by 2 is 14. 64 divided by 2 is equal to 32. They're still even. 14 divided by 2 is 7. 32 divided by 2 is 16, and that's as low as I can go. Looking at this here, realizing that 69 is divisible by 3 because 6 can be divided by 3 and so can 9. And if I add 4 plus 5 together, that's a 9. And the 3 can also be divided by 3. That means both the top and the bottom, numerator and denominator, can be divided by 3. 3 goes into 69 23 times. 3 goes into 345. Well, the way I want to look at that is I can say that 345 is the same as 330 plus 15. I know that 330 divided by 3 is 110, and 15 divided by 3 is 5. 110 plus 5 is 115. Now I add these two numbers together, that's 23, cannot be divided by 3. Add those three numbers together, that adds up to 7, cannot be divided by 3. And it looks like I'm probably at the end here because 23 is a prime number, so this is as far as I can go. That's the way in which you can take fractions and very quickly, using the rules that we just learned in the previous video, whittle it down to a simplified fraction. In some cases, we have what we call an improper fraction here, but unless somebody tells you to change it into a mixed number, we can just leave it as such. That's how we simplify fractions very quickly using the rules that we learned about divisibility. That's how it's done.